welcome back to my channel so today we are in the kitchen whipping up some stir fry look at that all right stay tuned all right so it is midweek just looking to make something nice easy simple i'm just cutting up my veggies i'm actually making some chicken stir fry today i'm using about a quarter of each of these tricolor peppers i have the red the green the gold and also have some carrots that I already washed peeled and sliced up and then i'm using a medium the sweet onion is the best in this recipe so basically cut it in half then cut it again in you know so it's basically in threes all right so I'll just leave it big it tastes a lot better this way all right so there's my chicken it's probably using about three pounds of chicken I actually have chicken thighs the boneless chicken thighs and breast mix all right then I have my broccolini purchased it at Kroger see I love this broccolini I actually like it better than broccoli it's young broccoli and it's tender and juicy all right so there are my sauces i have my favorite my red hot chili i'm using oyster sauce mushroom sauce and um soy sauce i have my stone ginger wine you can use any wine if you don't have the stone ginger wine i'm also using a little ginger paste and i have my um garlic paste there's my all-purpose seasoning I have my garlic powder and my onion powder and then you can see my salt and pepper for taste and then i have my walker's wood jerk seasoning right there okay so i'm just basically sprinkling um some all-purpose seasoning probably about a teaspoon because i don't want this too salty because all those other ingredients i listed already um have a lot of salt and you know some of them are high in sodium so a little goes a long way all right so that's how i'm keeping it i am basically adding a little bit of the salt and pepper to taste not much because like i said you don't want this um too salty all right so i'm gonna give it a little color with the brown in and that basically you know just like i said give it a little color um but yeah just basically toss it in if you don't have chicken breasts or thighs you can use any boneless chicken parts um, whatever your preference is but like I said um, sometimes I do this with shrimp it this recipe is great with shrimp all right so I'm gonna sprinkle a little of the onion powder and a little bit of the garlic powder over the chicken also and I'll list everything in my description box so you can follow along um, as long as you have all your recipes on hand, all your actually your ingredients on hand, okay? All right. All right, so just mix and just basically set it to the side. Let it, you know, marinate for probably about 10, 15 minutes. I'm just gonna set it to the side and then I'm gonna move right on to making my sauce. All right, so with the sauce now, I am using the cornstarch which is gonna thicken it up and you can mix everything in a bowl you can um, add subtract whichever you know any of these ingredients that you don't like the sweet chili sauce is the main thing I'm gonna be using um, which probably about half a cup I'm gonna have to add some more all right so the oyster sauce um, probably about using about two to three tablespoons of the oyster sauce and that mushroom sauce is very strong so just a little one tablespoon is all I'm using all right and then also the soy sauce probably about another one to two tablespoon of that and then the stone ginger wine I'm also using about a quarter cup of the stone ginger wine um, and you can use any other wine you can use cooking wine but the ginger and everything goes great together I also dropped a little my jerk sauce in there and as you can see I'm using the garlic paste and the ginger paste so just whisk everything together nicely so you don't have to worry about adding the thickener at the end it's it's all added right here so all right and all my kitchen tools that i am using you can find these on my amazon storefront um everything is listed like i said let me go ahead and taste it all right perfect all right you can taste it as you go along the way so my skillet was already heating as you can see while my sauce was being prepped so I'm just 
basically drop in this the chicken in like I said it's a breast and thigh boneless just gonna fry it and toss it around until it's partially cooked probably about anywhere from about five to seven minutes it's it's boneless and it's it's cut in small pieces so it's not gonna take long to cook All right, and just continue to, you know, toss it on medium heat. I don't know, I didn't use my wok, but if you have a wok, you can use your wok. I'm just using my regular um, frying pan, just tossing it around. All right, so after about um, five to seven minutes, I am going to remove it from the pan and I will move right along to, you know, sauteing up my veggies and adding my sauce and just pulling everything together. This is a meal you can make in less than 30 minutes. Like I said, weekday, weekend, and see if you can look to the left. I have my white rice already going. Um, so yeah, everything is just gonna be ready in 30 minutes. I'm that bam, 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 have dinner ready. As the kids turn around, they're like, wow, dinner's ready? Yeah, it's ready. <laughs> so like I said, this will definitely be something you can whip up in a hurry all right so i dropped the, my coconut oil in which is just enhances the flavor of everything i'm going to go ahead and you know drop probably about a teaspoon of garlic paste and a little bit of the ginger probably about half a teaspoon and this is quick and easy if i don't want to crush or mince garlic and ginger this this um this gourmet selection i picked up in the supermarket it's also great to have in your refrigerator All right, so because the chicken is probably about 95% cooked, I'm just gonna toss these vegetables for about not even five minutes because I still want them to have a little crunch, but the carrot is the hardest, so I dropped it in first, toss it around for a few minutes before I add in the onions, and then I'm gonna add everything else along the way. All right, and there goes everything else. All right, got my tricolor peppers. Just like I said, just toss these around for a few minutes. And then I'm gonna move right along, add my sauce, add the chicken. Actually, before I do that, the broccolini. I didn't even, you don't need to cook the broccolini in advance. It's, it usually if I'm cooking it by itself, I cook it for like two or three minutes because I, I don't like it when it's overcooked. So just tossing around in the same pan with everything. All right, so look how everything looks nice and delicious. Oh my God, if you can only smell the aroma. All right, there's my delicious sauce that I um, put together. As long as you have all these ingredients on hand, you can combine. I just sometimes play along with recipes, see what tastes good, what doesn't. But if you can see, they're all, you know, it's like a nice little fusion. Got a little Jamaican kick to it, got a little Asian zang to it. So it's a great combination. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add back the chicken to this sauce. I'm not even gonna let it saute too long. And like I said, you can double the ingredients to make your sauce more or less, whichever, um, as you go along the way. All right, so I'm just tossing this around, make sure everything is nicely covered. So you can see, um, like I said, I'm just gonna cover it after, but before I do so, I already have some chopped scallion, green onions. I'm gonna top it with that. 
and then i'm also gonna add a little bit more spice i have some crushed red peppers you can add that to yours as well or you know if you want to add a little chili powder if you want a little kick to it there's my rice nice and shelly it's ready and i combine the basmati and the long grain uh, regular long grain rice i get the rice at dollar tree um, i get my basmati rice at my indie pack store so it's a great combination together if you know if you don't like the straight basmati rice all right so everything is um coming together well i am basically just gonna cover it and let it simmer for a few more minutes probably for like five more minutes so at least my onion will still be nice and not too hard not too soft and so will the other vegetables everything will just be perfect all right, so how everything is looking great already make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so hit that notification bell so when i drop these recipes you'll be notified and go ahead and follow me on my other platforms instagram TikTok, all at the rena's kitchen thank you again for watching and there is my beautiful plate this was delicious all right i will see you on the next video bye